Hello, dear friends. We've just entered a few days ago the special Jewish month of Elul. And Elul lasts for 30 days and leads us into Rosh Hashanah, the new year. From Rosh Hashanah until Yom Kippur, we have 10 days. Put that together, 30 plus 10, we have 40 days from the beginning of Elul until Yom Kippur. Now, the number 40 has a big significance in Jewish history and Jewish life. We know that when Noah was in the ark, the rains fell down for 40 days and 40 nights, purifying the land that had become defiled. We know that when the Jewish people were in the desert, they were there for 40 years, which was a time of preparation for them to be enter into the land of Israel. We know that when Moses was on the mountain receiving the Torah, he was up there for 40 days and for 40 nights. We also know that a mikvah, a ritual bath, which purifies us, must have 40 liquid measures called a seah, 40 seah, about 40 gallons or so. What have all of these things got in common? The answer, my dear friends, is that 40 is a time of change. From the beginning of Elul, right through to Yom Kippur, we have the ability to turn things around. Just like the world purified at the time of Noah, just like the Torah was given to the Jewish people in 40 days and 40 nights, and the 40 years we were in the desert, so to a mikvah purifies us, we have holy places and we have holy times. And this 40 that we're in right now is an amazing opportunity for cleansing and perspective and new beginnings for us because we're going to get the most out of Rosh Hashanah and of course Yom Kippur by preparing ourselves right now. The story is told of Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva, we know, lived till 120 years. The first 40 years of his life, he was completely ignorant of anything Jewish. He wasn't even pro-Jewish. For the next 40 years, he learned and he learned and became a great scholar. And for the last 40 years of his life, he spent his time together with his amazing wife, Rachel, teaching as many students as possible. So even Rabbi Kiva's life was divided up into three groupings of 40. We are able at this time to grab hold of 40 and to put ourselves into a new world of change and expression, which will lead us into an amazing Rosh Hashanah, a fantastic Yom Kippur, free of sin, and eventually a wonderful new year. Thank you.